Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to remove wallpaper. So first step is remove anything that is covering the wallpaper on the walls. So I'm working in a bathroom. A couple of items I had to remove were my outlet plates, my light switch plates, and some towel bars. I also needed to remove the shower curtain rod from the wall as well. With all that stuff removed, then my walls are completely clear. The first step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a wallpaper scorer and this is going to score the paper, causing tiny little cuts in it, which will allow the water that I'm going to use later in the wallpaper remover spray to soak into the wall easier and get underneath that wallpaper so it can come off. So we're going to go ahead and score the entire wall first with this. Okay, with my paper scored real nice, the next step is to spray it down. Now you can use just normal water for this or you can go buy wallpaper remover spray which works a little bit better. Um, either one will do the job. The wallpaper remover spray just soaks in faster and kind of helps remove it a little easier. So I'm going to go ahead and spray the whole area down and let it sit for about two minutes. Okay, a little tip. Another thing that can be extremely helpful is to use a steamer. So you don't have to use this. So you could just spray it down with the water or the wallpaper remover and then attempt to scrape it. But if you really want to get that stuff wet and help get it off and it helps lift it and get the glue at the same time, go ahead and come back over and steam it. And this helps it really soak in, get the paper completely wet and ready for the scraper. use a wallpaper scraper, put it on the wall, and then just start scraping. Now this comes with a roller on one end and your blade on the other end, and the way this works is that you don't have to try to maintain a perfect angle like you would with like a normal floor scraper. This simply goes on the wall and the roller allows you to roll up the wall while applying pressure and scrape the wallpaper off. So let's go ahead and see if this is wet enough now to pull it off. It's still a little bit dry and you see it's kind of flaking off. I mean, wallpaper doesn't come off nice and smoothly, but this is a little rougher than I would like. So I'm gonna spray it down again. And this is a big thing with wallpaper as you remove it, just keep it wet. Just, you know, go ahead and scrape it a little bit, spray it again, scrape, spray. This is a very tedious process, but the biggest thing I can tell you, just keep it wet and it'll come off. Process. So score the wall, spray it down, you can use a steamer if you want to, and then come back and scrape and just keep repeating until you get it all off. And when you're done, you should just have bare wallboard again. Now, you can rip off large sections sometimes and you'll get chunks like this, and what you'll get left with is this area. This is not wallpaper, or wallboard I should say. This is actually the glue from the wallpaper. So you've gotten the top layer of the wallpaper off, but you're left with the glue. So you need to make sure you get it scraped off completely so that you're left with just your actual drywall underneath. So that's the only last little tip I've got for you is to make sure you come back and get all this off. It's gonna feel fuzzy to the touch, so you'll know when you've got it clear or not because this will feel smooth to the touch. Hopefully, this will help you out if you have any sort of wallpaper you're looking at removing. This is a fairly easy thing to do, but it does take quite a bit of time. Don't get too discouraged if it takes you, you know, half a day to get a room done. It will probably take me the rest of the day to do this room alone. Good luck, and see you next time.